Hello, lettering friend. I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. In this video, I'll show you 10 ways to letter December, and I'll leave it in real time so you can see how slow I go. I'm using the Stabilo brush pens. I have had a lot of requests to review these pens, so that is on my list. If you have specific questions about them, let me know. If you want to practice the December worksheet with me, I'll leave the details for that below. If you've been following along with me for each month of these worksheets, you may like what I have for you. I have been working so hard to get this done by the end of the year, and I literally just finished these worksheets. I have a new worksheet set for you. I'm so excited. I'm calling it my 10 ways to letter worksheets. It includes 10 alphabet styles in uppercase and lowercase, numbers, months, like you've seen each month, days of the week, planner words, and bullet journal words like goals, mood, habits, and seasons. There are 50 words total, all in the 10 different font styles. And what I'm really excited about is the 12 different quotes to practice. In my November video, I asked what monthly video you'd like to see next year, and I had a couple recommendations to do quotes, so I might use the quotes here and show you a different technique with each. So tell me what you think about that. Would that help you? Do you have any other requests for what you'd like to see each month? Let me know what you think. For the first week of launching these worksheets, they will be on sale to thank you for following along with me and to thank you for sticking around through every month this year. What a crazy year this has been. I am having a sale on everything in my shop, so this is the time if you have been wanting any of my worksheets. Definitely check that out. All the details are in the description box. If you're watching this after the sale is over, just so you know, I don't have sales very often. But the best way to know when I do is to sign up for my email list. All right, one more thing before getting into the December styles. Look at my book. Like this is an actual published printed book. This is so exciting. I announced in my last video with five secrets of hand lettering that I had been keeping a secret all year that I wrote a book. It doesn't come out until February 2nd in 2021. But I just barely received my author copy and it feels so surreal. I will do a full flip through in future videos and tell you all about it. But I just wanted to share my excitement with you. If you already know you want to pre-order it, I will link to it below. Thank you for being excited with me. I know this book is going to be a super helpful resource for anyone who wants to learn and improve their lettering. All right. Let's get into the December styles already. I can't believe it's already December. This year has felt like five years in one. <laughs> so it's gone by really slowly, but also like way fast, weirdly. I like to take this time to reflect on the year. If you feel up to it, would you share with me your biggest lettering win from this year? And maybe one thing that you would like to improve on for the coming year? Maybe there are certain aspects of your lettering that you're working on, or maybe there's a skill you feel like you've really mastered this year. For me, my biggest win is writing a book. That was not easy, especially with a newborn baby. Yes, I had a baby in January. If you missed that, I shared on my Instagram. And the other thing I'm proud of is these worksheets. I'm so glad I had something for each month. And I'm really excited that finally I finished the entire set so I can get them in your hands and you can finally start practicing them. And on the other side, one thing I want to improve on is getting out more videos for you with the questions you've asked and things you've requested that definitely took a backseat this year as I was working on my book and not to mention everything else happening in the world for everyone. So I'm really going to make an effort in the coming months to make more videos for you. If you've been waiting for a video request, thank you so much for being patient. I have quite a long list. If you feel like sharing, I'd love to hear your wins and something you'd like to improve. I will leave you with that. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching this video. I just want to remind you the way you create right now is exactly where you need to be. I will see you next time.